Doing okay? You had a good time so far? Okay, I'm gonna put a stop to that. Yes, uh, how you eating the food here, huh? Yeah, you gonna die. Any minute now, you gonna die. Listen, I don't know what happened here tonight. Uh, apparently they ran out of backs. I'm not a comedian. I was just walking down the street and some guy says to me, hey, you look like an asshole. Come on in here. <laughs> Is that how y'all got in here too? Yeah. It's a crazy world. I'm gonna do y'all a favor. I'm gonna stand back just a little bit. You know why? Because we performers have a tendency to spit. Really, sometimes I see people down front. <laughs> hey! What the fuck going on up here? Give me a raincoat or something up here. He's spitting all over me. What the hell is this? I wouldn't do that. I'm just kidding. Shake on it. Shake on it. All right. But you got to know how to shake now. They got so many handshakes out, you know now. I was at the airport last night shaking hand with a friend of mine. Missed my fucking plane. Yeah. <laughs> So how y'all doing over here in these shitty seats? <laughs> All right. It's a crazy world. Did you read in the paper this morning where Jimmy Carter said in order to get the economy rolling again, he's going to give everybody a $10 rebate for every time you had sex in the year of 1978? Yeah. Now, I know you're wondering what you're going to do with your $10, huh? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Here's a man right here who has to pay. Yes, uh, it's a crazy world. Here I am in New York City. New York City, I love this town. It's a great town. A lot of crazy things. Jumping the train coming down here tonight, you got so many problems on the subways. You know, they got thousands of cops now. You can't get a seat. <laughs> and I'm running around here in New York, and I tell you, I, I'm glad to be here tonight. I really am. Big traffic jam up on Lexington and 34th. A hooker fell off her shoes. <laughs> But don't worry, he didn't hurt himself. No, he didn't hurt himself. <laughs> it's a crazy world. I did, a lot, I did something very stupid the last, thing I, the last time I was here in New York. You know what I did? I went to Bloomingdale's and did my Christmas shopping. You want to save some money next Christmas? Don't buy nobody nothing. That's right, don't buy... I say that every year and always wind up spending 10 or $15. <laughs> I went to Bloomingdale's and I bought some underwear for $9. That's right, I paid $9 for some drawers. Now, I know you're saying for $9. There's no way, honey, if I take my pants off, there's nothing here but a tattoo that says, okay. <laughs> but when I get excited, it says, Oklahoma. And you wonder why we have birth control pills, huh? <laughs> so, but I did, I bought the underwear for Bloomingdale's. Nine dollars, boy. I know you, like she said, I should be wearing them outside my pants, right? <laughs> Can you imagine going home with your girlfriend, she wants to make love? You want me to take these off? <laughs> no, baby, we got to do something else. I paid nine dollars for these. I only paid five for you. <laughs> It's a crazy world. You gotta see we got a lot of hookers here tonight. <laughs> but that's why I'm different than most comedians. I'm different, I like a little, I do joke sometimes to get a little boo or something like that, a little sis or something like that. So I do. So right now, why don't everybody come on, give me a real good boo. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm different, that's right. Comedians come out here, they try to establish a rapport with you, ask you questions like, where you from? Where you from? Where you from? I could give a shit where you from. <laughs> and you don't care where I'm from either, do you? Well, we're not concerned with where we're from, we're concerned that we're here tonight to have a good time, right? Yeah. All right. I'd rather be here than to be in the best hospital in town. How about you? The 
This man is just as happy as if he were in his right mind. <laughs> That's a crazy world. Yes, it is. How y'all doing, soul brother? Yeah. All right, I'm representing uptown. Okay. <laughs> So I just got, I've been on so many airplanes in the last few months, i tell you the truth, I had, even coming here I had trouble. I had to come from San Francisco, I was up there in the gay area, I mean Bay Area. <laughs> These big lips get stuck sometimes. <laughs> so I'm up there in San Francisco, right, and I stay at this black hotel called the Show Enough Inn. <laughs> Show Enough! And you see, I'm up there, and so I had to jump this airplane. I come out here on Teeny Weeny Airline, right? TWA. <laughs> then I get here, I got to go to Scranton, Pennsylvania, right? When you get to, if you go to Pennsylvania, what airline you got to take? You ever fly Allegheny? You might as well take a Jeep. <laughs> really? You ever see the stewardess on Allegheny? Uh, who wanted that Coke? Allegheny's flight 586 is now boarding at Pier 52. <laughs> you know, when it gets real smoke on Allegheny, I just roll my window down a little bit, you know. <laughs> so I get to Scranton, Pennsylvania, right? <laughs> I get to Scranton, Pennsylvania. I never will forget it. I get, I get sick at 1030 and the hospital closes at 11. One of those old cheap discount hospitals in the back of Kmart. <laughs> See, you don't understand. I'm talking cheap here for anesthesia. The doctor said, go to sleep. <laughs> so we finished that. Then we go out for dinner. We went to Howard Johnson's for dinner, right? So I get to Howard Johnson sitting there eating special. Tuesday night, all the fish you can eat for $2.59. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I even told the manager, this is a pretty good deal, all the fish you can eat for $2.59. But what you should do, you should have all the chicken you can eat for $2.59. He said, we used to, but niggas was coming in from Chicago. <laughs> 747's in the parking lot and shit. <laughs> Get those Cadillacs and Lincolns out of here. I'm hungry. I want to go get me some New York pizza. That's what I want to do. You ever have food out in California? I, I don't care what you order in California, you get fruit with your plate, right? I order a pizza and I got fucking orange slices and shit. Uh, so I order, I told the man to put everything on my pizza. Put ketchup, mustard, pepperoni, sausage, watermelon. Put everything on there. He said, how would you like that, Chicago or New York style? I said, give it to me New York style. So he threw it in my face. <laughs> you know, a lot of y'all look at me like perhaps you've never been addressed by a black man before. <laughs> well, perhaps some of you never been in the home of a black family up in Harlem. Well, don't worry about that, because nine times out of 10, somebody from Harlem has been in yours. <laughs> You got to be funny when you go up in Harlem, Jack. You ain't funny up there. They'll tell you right off the bat. You ain't funny, nigga. Get off the stage. <laughs> They'll come up on stage with you. One time I was in Harlem, a man brought his whole family up on stage with me. In a car. <laughs> then we did this show in Harlem. I never will forget it. We did this show in Harlem. It was on Father's Day. I think it was Father's Day, which is the most confusing day in Harlem. So. <laughs> It's a crazy world, isn't it? Did you read in the paper this morning what they said that there are now more 64 and 65 Chevys in Puerto Rican neighborhoods than General Motors even made in those two years? <laughs> it's a crazy world. It's a crazy world. Say what? Unknown coming. No, it'll just be the unknown niggas. <laughs> friends! When I say friends, everybody say, yeah. 